This uh, has been my office, folks, and it will most likely be for about a year. Eventually, this will be my son's room, and I'm going to move to the second floor. But right now, the kids prefer to sleep on the second floor because it's they have this thick carpet there, and they're still very small, and they can run around and roll on the ground. And it's just, I don't know, nicer for kids. But eventually, I'm going to take the second floor, and this will be my son's uh, bedroom. So I'm trying very hard not to put any screws in the wall. I don't want to fix that when I leave. So everything will just come out of here without... Ideally, not even having to repaint. I may have to repaint, but I even cho chose a color that my son wouldn't mind. But uh, yeah, I, I work from here actually. Most of you know I, I work from home now. Uh, one thing that, you know, was good for me from this pandemic that now I can work from home. These are all my reels. I haven't put them on rods yet because all my rods are in a big, you know, mess and a roll in, in one of the corners. I'm still not unpacked completely because... I've been doing something like a remodeling in a couple of places. I just unpacked, then I packed again to do a little... Re it's not even remodeling, but anyway. I'm, I'm not done, you know, settling in the house. Boxes everywhere. I, I only unpacked my three ultralight reels and rods. And that's what I'm using. Everything else is um, still here. I haven't even brought my jigs and I want to put them on a, on a shelf right here. This is uh, my view here. My, my backyard is, uh, I, I showed you already, is backed up uh, right up against the woods. In the morning, actually, usually there is one or two deer uh, that come right, right where I'm showing you. I bought one of these uh, rocks. It's a 25 pound, like a stone that has salt and corn and whatnot. It's like a deer attractant. I put it so the deer would come and lick it in the morning and my kids will watch them when they're eating breakfast, when they're going um, to school. But uh, yeah, this uh, will be my office for uh, some time. And now uh, let's actually get uh, to the video uh, that you see the title. So let's get to the point of the title and make a video. I'm going to put the, the camera, I'm going to grab it here. And I'm going to point to my computer over there. This is where I, my work laptop is. And when I edit my videos, my processing desktop is on the bottom. And I have a switch that I switch the keyboard and the screen um, to, to be connected either to the work laptop or my own uh, desktop. But yeah, let me say a few things about the actual topic of the video. All right, I'm not sure what the echo will be like. I'm sure, pretty sure there will be echo, but nothing I can do about it right now. So the question, the topic of this video is what is the difference between a 1000 size reel and a 2000 size reel? And uh, the question came again about two weeks ago. If uh, the person who asked the question sees the video, sorry, I forgot your name. Uh, please uh, leave a comment below. But the question actually does come with some regularity because people do notice that most of my ultralight reels are size 2000, not 1000. And then they will come and ask me, Victor, why are all of your reels size 2000? What is the difference? When are you going to make a video about this? I can't live like this anymore, being in the dark on this critically important issue. Make a video about this already and put an end to my misery. So here we are. The most important thing I want to tell you on, on, on this issue, 
the difference between 1000 and a 2000 real is this go fishing when you can because it's good for you okay it's very good for for you stop worrying about everything and go fishing when you can oh here's another thing don't worry be happy i'm just full of wisdom today okay people take the whole issue about tackle just just a little too far sometimes in my opinion and they will they will ask questions like which reel is better for crappy which reel is better for bluegill for perch for what which line which jig head and always theoretically one of the products is better than the other but rarely practically one of the products is better than the other and almost never can the user actually tell the difference and this is the case in right here there is no difference between 1000 and 2000 okay there is no difference that matters okay between these two reels this is you can end the video here and save probably 10 minutes or 15 minutes of your time who knows for how long I'm going to be keeping I'm going to keep rambling on this topic but 1000 and 2000 is exactly the same reel buy if you like the reel whichever size they sell at your store whichever size you see on sale maybe and you will be perfectly happy now for those of you who want to know things that don't actually matter i will uh, move the camera over here on top of the table and i will show you actually the the difference between the 1000 and 2000 size but as i said it really doesn't matter 1000 and 2000 size reels use one and the same body and that is the body of a 1000 size reel and the only difference is that a 2000 size reel will put a slightly larger diameter spool on the same exact body this is the only difference and the difference in diameter is usually exactly two millimeters but this will vary slightly uh, between manufacturers but these two spools on the left are 1000 these two spools on the right are 2000 all four of these spools are different they're from different reels but they are all from legalis family and they are all interchangeable this is diameter the distance between my two fingers okay this distance is two millimeters i'm not gonna say this in inches inches make no sense to humans the difference is two millimeters the spool on the right is just two millimeters more in diameter than the spool on on the left if i try to show you this real close this is what this difference looks like okay now what are the physical consequences of this difference the first difference is that the slightly larger spool and this is why i do tend to slightly prefer 2000 over 1000 everything else equal ceteris paribus everything else equal a 2000 size spool will cast slightly farther than a 1000 spool again i'm saying slightly these are theoretical differences i mean there are real differences but it is impossible for for human to detect such small differences another difference which is kind of 
remotely related to the casting is that if you if if you are casting your trout magnet let's say 50 feet out well 50 feet will be 150 coils on this pool but 50 feet will be 180 coils on the 1000th pool so to get that same distance you need more coils on the smaller spool and for that reason you get less line twist on the larger spool 150 versus 180 every coil is a line twist if you imagine you know the line is not twisted now but if if you stretch it every coil becomes one line twist okay so the fewer the coils the less the line twist uh, on, on the line this is only important for monofilament lines though and when i say monofilament i mean monofilament or fluorocarbon or polyester they all kind of on nylon they're monofilaments for braid this twist really doesn't matter i don't think there is any benefit honestly in in well maybe theoretically if you really go theoretically maybe there is still benefit even with braid but i mean you, you gotta dig real deep to find the theoretical benefit if you use braid for 2000 versus uh, 1000 this is mostly a preference for monofilaments but when i started fishing i used only monofilaments and i didn't like curly line the line being curly so i would prefer you know to have a few less coils on the line another physical consequences of having a larger spool is you will retrieve more line per one crank of the handle how much more line you, you can calculate 2pr or just PD that, that, that's how much more it will be very little and you will not when you fish detect oh man I'm, I'm retrieving so much line here wow this has got to be a 2000 size reel you never detect this if I cannot detect you know forgive me for not believing you that you can detect uh, this difference another difference inevitable from the larger size uh, but again everything else being equal is the larger spool will be one or two or three maybe five i, I don't think five but it, it will be a few grams heavier now some retailers are upfront about this and they will put a slightly heavier weight for the 2000 size reels but very often i see exactly the same weight reported for 1000 and 2000 size reels and again ceteris paribus this is not possible to achieve that you would have to make the larger reel thinner okay uh, notice that the larger diameter does not have to equate to more line capacity that will depend on the depth of the reel you have super shallow you have shallow you have deep for example this reel here is very deep okay you can see it doesn't have line but one of these is shallow and i have on my more expensive reels 1000 size no 2000 size spools that are super shallow i think on the new presso on the brand new presso the spool is 2000 and is super shallow so just because the spool is 2000 do not assume that it will have different capacity or more capacity than the 1000 size you will have to look on the box of the reel to confirm that or manufacturer uh, website another difference that comes from newton's laws of leverage is uh, 
the effect on the drag when sorry about that uh, my battery died uh, I had to plug a external battery and I'm not sure how far I got but another difference that results from the different diameter will be the feel of the drag and like all other differences this one is completely theoretical but because the radius here is different this comes from the Newton's law of levers I don't know this is first second or third Newton law but when you have a longer level remember the line is twisting is turning the spool from with with a force that is perpendicular to the radius of the spool when the radius is longer and you have a larger lever here you have more leverage and it is easier to turn the spool when again everything else equal when you have a slightly larger spool because you have the slightly longer lever than on this pole. This is actually assuming that both spools are filled to the top because if you don't fill the 2000 size uh, spool all the way to the top then the drag will feel exactly the same uh, but yeah the drag uh, can theoretically feel a little bit different because of the longer leverage I doubt anybody will notice that on the water though um, talking about the drag the drag discs inside however are always the same in 1000 and 2000 size pools as a matter of fact in many cases the 2500 size pools even have the same drag discs uh, as the 1000 and 2000 I know I bought a bunch of these drag discs for my uh, Shimano Vanford family. I, I have a, a bunch of these reels now. And 1000, 2000 and 2500 in Shimano Vanford family use all the same drag discs. I believe Daiwa is the same too for, for at least some models, if not most. But yeah, uh, keep in mind that one or 2000 you can still swap uh, drag discs inside I think it's time to end this video actually because I already told you enough differences that are completely paper differences and theoretical differences and don't matter in the real world and I'm sure somebody will bring something else that doesn't matter at all feel free to put it uh, in, in the comments doesn't bother me just don't expect me to be passionate about it and in practice rarely you will find a reel that is offered and just available in both 1000 and 2000 size i can't remember when was the last time that the reel that i wanted was available in both sizes especially if you care about deep and shallow spool no you're gonna have legales or whatever Reverus LT or Regal, in, especially in United States, only one size will be, will be available. And you are absolutely lucky that it doesn't matter at all. Only some of these models, like, I don't know, like Stella or the new Exist LT, they will really have a, a, a thousand models. You may have to buy them from Japan, but they will, they will have four models of the 1000 size with different spools and knobs. They'll have three models of 2000 size. But most of, most of the reels under $200, they will have only one option. So the whole discussion here doesn't even matter because you're not going to have the opportunity to, to decide between two reels. Now, I will be making one more video just like this, but it will be on the difference between 1000 and 2500, okay? Not the difference, everybody knows the difference, they're very different reels, body is different, everything is different. 
But uh, which one is better for ultralight fishing? Now, there I get a lot of opinions that I disagree with. Many people are a little bit on the snobbish side and they give uh, incorrect advice to beginners. So I'm going to make a separate video uh, on 1000 versus 2500. But with respect to 1000 versus 2000, there is no difference. Go fishing when you can because it's good for you and don't worry and be happy. Bye for now.